I'm Andy Pilgrim, I'm with Team Cadillac. Uh, behind me is one of the race cars that we use for the series. This, this one's a two-seater, so we can use it for VIPs. It's a Cadillac CTSV Coupe race car. And uh, it's, it, we're here to take some VIPs and some PGA guys around the course, give them a little bit of fun. And that's what we're doing today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. The car behind me is basically a World Challenge GT car. Those cars are restricted to about 500 and 520 horsepower. Rear wheel drive, uh, we're allowed to use ABS, we're allowed to use traction control these days. Um, the World Challenge series starts, standing starts just like Formula One. And we run one hour sprint races, uh, it's still a one hour race. A lot of categories, there's three categories of car. This one's the fastest category of car. We run against Lamborghinis, Porsches, Aston Martins, BMWs, Mercedes, all kinds of stuff in the series. And it's a 14 race series. And we start in about two weeks at St. Petersburg, Florida. We've been running these cars since 2011. Uh, this 2013 is going to be the third year for these cars. They're about 520 horsepower. Top speeds at the racetracks on the longest straightaways, probably around close to 180 miles an hour. Um, the, the biggest thing with GT cars is they stop really well. They turn really well. If you, a standard street car produces about 1G in braking, these cars can hit 2.5Gs in braking. Turning, these, a regular high-performance street car turns about 1G in, in turning force, laterals and this car can hit sometimes peaks over 2Gs. So there's a lot of difference between the race car and the street car. Weight's about the same. Weight of these cars is, uh, with the driver, is about 3,200 pounds. So not a lot of difference between a performance street car and this car, weight-wise. So.